Dean Kamen lives his life in fast motion. Whether he's zipping around the office on his latest invention or flying to work in his helicopter, Kamen is always on the move. His career as an inventor began in high school. In the basement of his family's Long Island, New York home, he developed a lighting control system that he sold to museums. But it was his brother, then a medical student, who inspired Kamen's early work in medical technology. My father's basement became this little uh, Willy Wonka uh, pump factory. The first product to come out of the pump factory, the auto syringe, was eventually bought by Baxter Healthcare and led to another medical project for Baxter, a wearable portable dialysis machine that was far simpler for users to operate. I go to bed at night tired and frustrated almost all the time. I don't hit the pillow until I'm too tired to work. And if you're going to really work that hard, you've got to be frustrated about something important. Dean Kamen has always been an avid student of science and attended Worcester Polytechnic Institute before leaving to pursue his passion for invention. I think invention really is about looking at the same world and the same problem that everybody else is looking at, but finally seeing something that they didn't see. In 1982, Kamen founded DECA Research and Development to advance ideas that he believed in ideas that would benefit society. There's about half of the work around here that starts with what people politely around here call Dean's crazy ideas, uh, of which most are. I would rather have a really big success or crash and burn with some spectacular failure from which we learn and move on uh, than live out the warm eventual death of mediocrity. One DECA project now in clinical trials is the iBot, a revolutionary wheelchair capable of going up and down stairs. I mean, we can put men on the moon. We can put men under the oceans. You can put people anywhere, not only on our planet, but out in space. Why can't you make a machine to go up a curb? I mean, it's a trivial thing. They not only could, but did, and in the process, realized an unexpected benefit, getting a wheelchair-bound person back to eye level. Once we put people back to where they're at eye level, the impact was just unbelievable. Kamen holds more than 150 patents and has been named Design News Magazine's Engineer of the Year. In the past year, his Segway human transporter has become a media phenomenon. Based on the gyroscope technology used in his iBot, the Segway is something Kamen believes could revolutionize urban transportation. There's no clutch. There's no throttle, there's no controls. You get on the thing, and after a couple of seconds, you realize uh, it's an extension of you. We're gonna back up. You want your Nothing he's worked on, however, is more important to him than FIRST, the organization he founded in 1989 to help nurture a passion for science and discovery in young people. We're not a science fair. The word FIRST doesn't have the word education in it for inspiration and recognition of science and technology. First, pairs scientists and engineers from the corporate world with students and gives each a complex design problem to solve, relying on teamwork and creative brainstorming. People think it's about building robots. It's nothing to do with the robots. They're building relationships with credible adults. And at the end of six weeks, there is no kid that has participated that thinks that their choices in life are, I'm really going to make it in the MBA or I'm going to flip hamburgers. But as Kamen, which of all his projects is his most important, and you'll get a typically Kamen response. If I had to answer the question, you know, what's the best invention we've ever done, I'd tell you, I don't know, it didn't happen yet. <laughs> <laughs>